It's amazing the little things that make you happy. This morning I walked in to see our new bar cart and it's just, ah, something, something nice and new. All right, gotta head to work, it's Monday. Good morning, my friends. It is Monday. I hope you guys are ready for uh, Monday. Whew. I'm a little tired this morning. Not sure why I'm this tired. I stayed up a little late watching a movie with Elizabeth, but it wasn't like super late, so I don't know. But I'll survive. Whew. Monday. I'm excited. It's another day. I'm just rambling now. I don't even know why I'm talking. So, just I'll just see you guys later. All right, so kids are in specials and I am just organizing paperwork to go home at the end of the day. It's our Monday folders all have their paperwork. But I just wanted to update you guys on some amazing, um, something amazing. So we bought our plane tickets yesterday. Total, two flights, round trip, $1,300. Today we looked, you're never gonna guess this, $1,700 per ticket. Per ticket. That's that's incredible. That would have been $3,400 for us to fly to Spain if we had bought them today. So we paid, we paid $1,300 and it would have been $3,400. I, I don't know if we just lucked out on looking at the right day or what, but man, I'm so glad we pulled the trigger. If we had waited, Elizabeth would have been so, so sad to see that we had had to pay so much more money. We probably wouldn't have even gone if flights were that expensive. But because they were so cheap, we decided, makes sense, you'll never see your cheap tickets that cheap in the summer. You can find them cheap during the year, but we as teachers have to travel during the summer. So, little update, amazing. So glad we pulled the trigger. Spain, 2017, it's happening. All right, so now is a really handy time for this right here, these checklists, I'm covering the names, this checklist of all the stuff I have. Because I'm looking at folders and trying to get stuff ready and so I can look on there and know which kids I need to resend their forms that need, haven't filled them out. So I highly recommend, again, using numbers to make some um, sheets that you can check off all the kids that have done their, paid for their t-shirts and brought their registration form back and just all that stuff. Very helpful with organization. <laughs> It is a lovely overcast day, man. We don't get a whole lot of these in Lubbock and all of a sudden we have them like all week. It's crazy. So I'm at Market Street and my goal is to stay under $30 and I'm gonna make two large batches of soup. One for tonight and one for everybody else that comes tonight. I'm trying to save money while cooking.
All right. I made it. $27, $28 is what I made it. 28 bucks. I made it under 30. Oh, and by the way, did not know I was wearing this the whole time. All right, today on Cooking with Aaron, I am doing random veggie soup. I literally have no, no recipe. I'm just doing a bunch of veggies, some corn, some black beans, some rotel, yes, chipotle peppers, and some fake vegetarian chicken stock, and lentils. Boom, veggies. All right, first up, onions. Always start with your onions and garlic. So right now I've got the onions, the carrots, and the garlic <clears throat> sauteing in the pot with just a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, depending on what you use, and some sea salt. Um, next up, I'm gonna finely chop mushrooms. Now, instead of meat in a stew or a, or a dish that I use, um, sometimes I like to do a mixture of lentils and finely chopped mushrooms. So cook the lentils, chop up the mushrooms, saute the mushrooms, and so the lentils and the mushrooms together kind of has a ground beef type texture, so that's what I'm gonna use. But I got my potatoes diced up, ready to go. I need to speak with Mr. Jabadi again before I... All right, so right now I've got some veggies just cooking up in here. And this is the diced mushrooms that I sauteed and then I added some lentils and some, some veggie stock and I'm gonna let this cook down. All right, so I'm experimenting with maybe a sauce, maybe it's gonna go in, but right now I've got some cilantro and this amazing uh, chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. This stuff is amazing. I'm gonna put this whole can with the cilantro and some olive oil. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice and I'm gonna blend it up into like a, almost like a cream sauce. So I've added some veggie stock, can of corn, can of black beans, and a can of Rotel. But I split the veggies into two because this one has the lentil mushroom mixture. Uh, my wife doesn't like mushrooms, so that one's going to be with mushrooms. This one is without mushrooms. So I have two ones. Hopefully this is enough for everybody tonight, and then I'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. So last thing I'm doing, I'm chopping up some kale, and that'll be the last thing I add. Also, this sauce came out amazing. 